Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for coming by. If you're new, welcome. My name is Catherine and I do a lot of unboxings and I do some makeup application and things like that, but mostly we're here for the unboxings. And today I have our Ipsy bag. I got my Ipsy Plus like a week ago, but I feel like I've waited for this one and I can't wait to see what's in here. I think I did a couple of add-ons, but I'm not sure. Ipsy is a monthly beauty bag that you can either choose just the regular bag, which is $10 per month, or you can do the Ipsy Plus bag. And I'll put my link up here in case you have any questions about what that's all about. And that is $25 per month. With this one, you get five usually sample sizes, but periodically they do throw in full sizes. And with the Ipsy Plus, you get all full size products. All right, let's get in here and see what I've got. I have... You know how I am about the brushes. If there's a brush that's not in my bag that's an add-on option, I'm probably going to take it. Especially, oh, this is perfect, blending brushes. Let me get my glasses. We have a unmarked. Hmm, is that true? I don't see one marking on this thing. That is interesting. Well, it looks like a Luxie brush, and it's just a eye blender and these are my favorites. This is what I use the most. I know eyeshadow brushes come in a million shapes and sizes but I use a blending brush just with a different sized top for almost all the jobs. I'm gonna get on my iPad real quick and see if that is indeed a Luxie. Okay I'm back and it is indeed a Luxie Beauty 237 blending dream catcher. Very fun. And my other add-on was this The Balm Jour Creamy Lip Stain, and I ordered it in Namaste because I have received it in the past in my actual bag, and it was, I got it in Konnichiwa, and I like it so much, but the Konnichiwa is a little warm, and from the picture, this Namaste looked like a cooler color, more like what I wear like in the Berry family, and that's what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. See, it's very berry-ish. That is so me, and it's a lip stain, and I love those. I actually like them probably better than a matte lipstick that you use as a liquid because they don't dry down as much, but if you wipe them off, they leave you a little stained. So these were $3 each in add-ons, and on the second of each month, you can go into, you'll usually get an email, but you can go into the app, and you can do your add-ons for the month, and they have $3, like small brushes, this kind of thing, and sample size things, or for $12, a lot of times they have like full-size foundations, moisturizers, palettes, it's amazing, the add-ons can be. But this is the bag this month, and it is a pretty hunter green bag with the nice Ipsy pull tag that we always have with the bright pink interior. This is kind of pretty. It feels like plasticky leather, but this will be really nice come winter. All right. I have a card. I hope the words are on the inside. And they are. That is awesome. I so often feel like I get bags that I don't get the information on the inside. All right, reaching in, coming out first, I have the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. And that is what that looks like. And let's see what it says. This formula is spiked with comfrey leaf and pennywort herb to flood your under eye area with hydration for 26 hours. That's excellent. Whether you want to look more awake or it's time to tuck yourself in, the cooling effect feels refreshing and sends puffiness packing. That is so cool. And they're actually telling you, it says tip, after applying your regular moisturizer, use your ring finger to gently pat a pea-sized dab of cream around your eye area. I usually use my under eye before my moisturizer, so that's interesting. And that little baby is full. I mean, it's tiny because see the size of it and you can see up in it. It's, it's, but it's still several days worth, maybe even like a week or two. But let's see what it smells like. It's kind of thick, but it is going in, and I can smell the what is probably the cooling. I would be surprised if it didn't have something menthol-y in it. It feels really nice. My, my hand right there and my finger both feel fantastic. Yay, can't wait to try that. Next, I have the Suba Beauty Eyeshadow, and that is what the packaging looks like. Let's get inside. It says that I have a coriander, so I'll assume it's a green one. Nope. <laughs> It's not. Do not assume just because it is called coriander, it is green. It is actually a shimmery beige. Mm, beige-y taupey. 
but that is what the packaging looks like on the outside. Yeah, coriander. This says, easy to apply and opaque, water resistant. Honestly, what more could you want in an eyeshadow? The cream powder hybrid formula delivers all that and then some. Plus, this golden pearl shade is so fun for all of your end of summer looks. It says you can dip your ring finger in or a damp shadow brush, then press onto lid. So it's one of those ones that it works better if you press, you know, instead of smearing. There are some that are like that. Oh, it's very, very, it feels very creamy to the touch. I mean, it's clearly, I would say it's clearly a powder, but it does feel very creamy. It goes on very, it feels creamy. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's very gold on my hand. It's really pretty and it feels fantastic. Now that I, I was kind of like water resistant, really a powder, but it's not a powder. It's got a real creamy feel. We'll see if that like dries down and what we get, but that is very cool. This is a good month already. Okay, so what have we got next? Next we have Adesse, Ades all day lip cream in Thames Street. And that is what the packaging looks like. I think Thames Street is probably the color. I just ripped that box. Oh my goodness. And yeah, Thames Street is the color. It's an inexpensive feeling bullet. It's a gorgeous color. Very pretty color. Looks like it's going to be kind of bearish too. This is actually a really good color month for me. Let's put it right here. Oh, it's a little warmer than the, because it's right next to that lip stain pink, it looks a little warmer. It's this one. And you can see how pink the lip stain is and that makes that one look warmer. But I still think it'll be a great color for me. It feels really creamy. This is a really good bag, guys. Okay, so this says about the lipstick that is creamy and moisturizing lippy that glides on to coat your lips in full coverage, high impact color that lasts all day long. This pinky nude hue works on all skin tones and looks fab at work, on the town, or wherever the day may take you. So that's awesome. Okay, what is next? Next I have an Ico. Beach Waterproof Mascara. How cute is that little tube? I love the tubes of mascara. They're just so interesting. Let's see what this says. The Melt Proof Mascara will take you from beach to bar without budging, smudging, or flaking. This formula is loaded with coconut oil to help smooth, sunscreen to protect, and fruit extracts to condition your lashes while the wave brush creates dramatic volume and length. Well, yeah, let's just go in here and see what this looks like. Ooh, it's a good size brush. It's a regular size brush, but it's not too fluffy. It smells like regular mascara. Can't wait to try that. I do love these little tubes. And I think last but not least, we have Wander Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. I think I have a full-sized one of these. This is sealed, and I believe I have this in a full size, so I will add this to my giveaway, which I will be putting up in the next few days. This is what that looks like, and it is 0.33 ounces. This says, this nourishing berry pink mask is made with antioxidant-rich acai, goji berry, and green tea extracts that help heal, purify, and brighten dull skin. We applied it to our skin and it felt smooth and hydrated and fresh without any of that uncomfy, tight feeling. So I will put this in my giveaway. Okay, that is it for my Ipsy bag this month. And it was a great bag. I have this nice wander mask that I will put in my giveaway for one of you guys to enjoy. This really pretty full-size lip, full lipstick. This Suva eyeshadow that is in this gorgeous gold that goes, it still feels a little creamy, not, we'll have to test this and see how it does on the eye and see if it creases because it does still feel creamy, but I can absolutely see how it's waterproof now. This cute little Ico mascara to try and this Belief under eye cream. I think that's a great bag and for $6, I added on a Luxie blending brush and a nice, here we go, berry lip stain from the balm. See, this is what I talk about when I say I just wonder if I should continue with the Birchbox. This, take away the two add-ons. The rest of it, 
was $10. And I have a full size lippy and a real eyeshadow. And then these three nice sample products. I'll put my Birchbox link here and you can go back. That was $15 and it was just five little samples. Food for thought. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming by. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have new videos coming out. And I will see you really soon. Bye, guys.